Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, but you already knew that and in this video, I'm showing you how you can hover on a picture on the collection image, you know, and see another picture. Yep, that is correct. That's actually a request that we get quite often. So it would look something like this in the end result. Basically, when clients hover on collection images, they just see another picture of the product instead of just the same picture. So how do we go about that? Well, we're going to jump into the online store in just a second. Before we do that, below in the description, there is a link. If you follow that link, you put in your information, you're going to get an email with all of the codes. That way you don't have to like pause the video and kind of figure it out. No, you can just copy paste it just like I do it in this video. Beside that link, well, a little bit higher, there is a subscribe button and it would mean the world to me. Still got you. All right. All right. All right. Let's just jump straight into the uh, store right here. So this is our very, very ugly um, store and I'll show you how ugly it is right now. You can see it. This is what it looks like. We go to the catalog page and if I hover, ain't nothing happening here. You know, I want to see another angle of these beautiful jewelry. By the way, this is like the stock pictures Shopify gives. Um, all right. Anyway, so nothing happening here. I'm not bamboozling you. So first things first is we're going to go into the online store right here. And if you've watched multiple of these videos, you know how important this is. You need to duplicate your theme before you start. So you go actions, a duplicate. If you do not do this, you are an idiot. Excuse me. The reason is because if you make a mistake, you're making it on a duplicate version and it's not crashing your life site. If you don't duplicate it and you make a mistake, you are a screw. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as you can see, it's copying right now and we will be working on this version right here. So now that you've looked below on the link and you have the, the code file open as well, you received it in your email, you can click on actions and we're going to go edit the code. It should look something like this, not like this, like this. And so what you will be doing is you'll go here to the left, you'll go all the way down, down, and you'll go to assets. In the assets section, you'll go to team.scss.liquid. It is a ginormous file that should look something like this. Uh, basically, this is the file that defines all the little colors and padding and spacing throughout your entire website for every single um, device. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to the very last line right here, and then you're going to put enter a couple of times. It doesn't matter how many times, doesn't matter. And then you're going to paste in the code that I've provided you in step number two in the document. If you follow the link down below, paste. All right. It should look something like this when you paste it. It should start with reveal module. Uh, make sure that this is light gray, this entire section. If it's not, you miss paste it. And it should end with two, not one, two curly brackets. Again, very important. Two curly brackets right here. Okay, once you have that, you can save. Boom. Is it saved? It is saved. Acid is saved. Roger that. Um, and we're going to go into step number address. For this, we're going to go into the snippet directory here on the left. So click on snippet and we're looking something in the lines of product grid. Let's see here. Actually, the easiest way is to take the title that I uh, provided in the document, copy, go all the way above, do search files, and we paste that. And there we go. A snippet called product dash card dash grid dot liquid. Click on it. And then we're going to be pasting everything yet again. So this is much smaller. We're going to do command all command a on a Mac control a on a windows delete. So all the code is gone and then we can right click paste. Boom. That's it. That easy. We save it. And that's like literally it. It doesn't get much easier than this. Now, um, 
if we go to products, I will show you, it will pull the second picture of a product as the, um, the picture on hover. So this one, it's going to show this one when I hover on it. Um, now remember, we have not worked on the live team. We have worked on the duplicate team in case we made a mistake. So now we go to online store theme. So we are here, we click on action, we click on a preview. And we see, oh, look at that. Now when I hover on images, it shows me the second picture of the product. Um, and here you might be like, Andrew's not working. It is working is because there wasn't a second picture on this product. So it's not showing anything, but as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Let's go to the catalog to confirm it. And there you go. Now I do recommend uploading the first and the second picture in the same dimension. So you don't have this happening. It's a bit awkward. Um, but yeah. So we agree with the preview. We did a good job. Nothing has broken. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. We're going to go back to online store. We're going to go to copy of the debut team, which is what we worked on. We're going to click actions and we're going to click publish. They're going to ask us if we're sure that we want to publish this version that we just worked on and that everyone can now see it. And we're going to say, yes, we are sure. Let's publish this. So there you go. Now our copy of the debut team is live and our changes, if we click on the site, are live as well. So this is actually a much requested feature that, you know, people want to give different images. It helps conversion. It slows down the store a little bit. Mm, so it's a double edged sword. Make sure to use heat tracking and heat mapping to see if people are actually using this feature. And if you're like, what is heat mapping? You should check out this app review video that I did. That's going to explain in just like 10 minutes how you have to do heat mapping for free even. Is it free? I don't remember. I think it is free. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this actually was useful, make sure to tell a friend about this channel because it takes a whole lot of effort and work to make all these coding videos. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I hope you subscribed and we will see you in a Shopify app review video or maybe some Shopify strategy or maybe another Shopify coding video. So adios.